Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you see, they face us towards the computer, not away from it, so he can't be in that special one-of-a-kind post-credits position that can only happen said post-credits because you can't really like turn yourself around on the single square like you can in the regular Pokemon game. <laughs> so, alas, alas, this position is not nearly as special. Anyway, <laughs> this is challenge machine that Dr. Mason recently completed. A challenge machine can be used to simulate Pokemon card battles. The rules are simple. You probably remember this from the first game. You'll challenge five decks in the machine with one year of their own decks. You'll clear the challenge if your one deck defeats five of the machines. See how many cumulative victories you can earn as a challenger. Go on and make the best deck you can. Mint, so yeah, that's another thing that's been unlocked. Um, at last, the GR King has been defeated. We've gathered the details about the decks you fought in our, in our battles. <laughs> We've already uploaded the info into our auto deck machine. Since the Pokemon card game is so deep, our studies will never end. True, true. The possibilities are many. Mint, congratulations! Team Jira is defeated at last! However, I want to hold a grudge against them. Anyone who loves Pokemon cards will never be an enemy to me. Aww. They're now part of our Pokemon card family too. I will do my best to keep <laughs> to keep teaching all who love Pokemon cards. Now go out there and do your best as a card, Master Mint. Hey, Ronald. Oh, what's Mint? Did you defeat Team GR's king? It's all because of my great support that you defeated Team GR, you know? Ah, uh, No. <laughs> Feel free to thank me, Mint. No. <laughs> what would you like to do? Oh, it's the same things. Alright. Uh, here. Is it true a Team GR has finally been defeated? Just as I thought, that's amazing news! Congratulations, it's been trying to figure out your team. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, please! <laughs> your victory over Team GR. You've gotten some more booster packs to celebrate. Team GR got some too. Pokemon card battles should be a lot more fun for everyone now. <laughs> Anything here? Chingers, no. I think Aaron's got the same Aaron ness. I think there's a bit more dialogue here. Congratulations, Mint. Team GR is finally defeated! Was this auto deck machine helpful? Yes! I would say that just so he feels good. <laughs> hey, man, this device is our deck record, which uh, is the same as before. You did event, you defeated Team GR at last! We're not finished just yet, you can still use our deck machine. You should try out some of the decks that have been collected here. Thanks to your field record, we may study lots of Team GR decks! Perhaps we can go to GR Island soon since Team GR is good now. Yes, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do in the post-game here, because we gotta beat Vitalcini one more time, and I'm also gonna see here, I'm free to use the airship even though I don't have a GR coin. Finally, I can go have card battles on GR Island, yay! Vitalcini is just as amazing as I expected him to be. It's not easy admitting you made a mistake, you know. Ah! I see, that is true. The, uh, worshipper here is like, Oh yeah, I, I, I see, I see, lights. And he's still awesome. <laughs> oh, you have a fully assembled GR coin. In that case, talk with GR number five. Oh, that, wait a second. You're still checking for coins? But he, he said that you don't need coins. I, I, I hate to break it to you, but you know what? You, you find out for yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's go back over to the island. Yeah, same dialogue. And mash that B button. Okay. <laughs> and we made it. Um, same thing. We've been told that we're all welcome to go to your home island. Yes, that's great news. Love to visit and play a few games over there. Uh, oh, it's you, Mint! What a surprise! I never thought you could win against King Villasini. Well, you gotta have more faith in challengers. I mean, you gotta be dethroned eventually, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go on over to the castle. And here we are. Got any new dialogue? Just like King Villasini, I've learned from my mistakes. Pokemon cards should be loved in battle and out all the same. Since I've changed my beliefs, what do you say? You want a battle? The kids are all the same, cards of legends sound good? No. Okay, but well, we're fighting against the same old cards day after day. If you don't mind, come back sometime for a battle. Uh, same dialogue. So, that is a no. Okay. <laughs> so, Villasini here. Got two other decks you haven't played against yet, so you know what that means. Save our game, just in case. Just so we have like a little shortcut back over here, if we don't get the right deck. 
Titans meant half your battle's been going. If you'd like to have a casual battle or two with me, as before, I'll fight the two total victories. I'll be having fun using my four specially crafted decks. No. In that case, I think I'll go have fun challenging some of my members. I do hope you'll decide to challenge me again. It'll be fun. You could follow him all day long, but he never seems to go challenge his members. So let's just go ahead. <laughs> uh... Yes. <laughs> See what we get here. So we don't want the throw out, and we don't want the beat and destroy deck. Rest in pieces! Yay! A new deck to battle against! <laughs> oh wait, what deck did I have selected? I kind of forgot. Hmm, I guess it doesn't matter, because I can win with any of the decks. Oh, it's my grass deck. Uh, Snoop Dogg deck. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. Who should I lead with? Who should... <laughs> Probably the uh, Bulbasaur, because it can start attacking right away. I mean, Scyther is pretty, pretty nice choice in on itself, but... I think the Bulbasaur being able to put a little early game pressure on will be nice. Oh, gonna neutral damage things. So, see if that makes any sort of difference. You fetch, draw that card, and I will nick away at your Kangaskhan. How does that sound? Probably not good to you. Actually, <laughs> it'll take a while for me to beat that Kangaskhan, even when I start doing 30 damage, so... And, well, okay. <laughs> That's a no-go for his draw power O. Um... I could just evolve with the Ivy Sun right away. Nah, I'll Razor Leaf, because he won't get the Comet Punch going anytime soon, so Razor Leaf can be a little bit a little bit quicker in the the damage fiasco going on here. So Alright. You do your fetching, and I'll do my nicking. <laughs> so put that on the Scyther. And Razor Leaf, as promised. So he's going to probably fetch one more time, and then he puts in something that will utterly destroy my Bulbasaur that he's got powered up on the side there, and <laughs> the uh, good time of back and forth of battling. Actually, what does he? Well, he's not going to use that, he doesn't, yeah. Just kind of there to stop the resistances. Uh, so the idea is Bulbasaur and Scyther, so he's got kind of, kind of identical setups that I have. Um... So I probably am going to have to expect a Scyther coming out then, probably. So I'm going to go Ivysaur, and do I, I don't want to discard my Venomoth, you know? Ah, but yeah, I want more cards! The greed! The greed by the pot! It compels me! Okay, there's Venonat there. I guess I could trade for... I trade the Venonat, possibly get another Venomoth if it's in my deck. If it's not, it's in my prize cards. Uh, eradicate. There it is. There we go. Looking good. I already attached an energy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did somebody think it's this turn? I could use Leech Seed or Vine Whip. Doesn't much matter. And take out that Kangaskhan. There we go. And Scyther is the prediction of correctness. I... Predict he's gonna go for Swords Dance double damage combo. Probably. Be nice to get that single energy removal in my deck. You know, what actual well, plus power. But <laughs> okay, well. Uh well I'm gonna do this anyway. I need to get something like that set up on the side. And then I I guess it doesn't matter if he uh ends up doing double damage to me anyway, because of uh, the, the, unless he has plus power himself, but I mean... But yeah, uh, oh wait, what, what, what the bug that? You didn't attach another ener- Oh, you don't have any- Oh, good to know! <laughs> okay, so I guess he was counting on getting an energy card to save, uh, to be able to do as much damage as he possibly could with Scyther. Although, I don't know why he just didn't switch to something that- I don't know. I guess maybe to just because he had to. To save a uh, save a turn outright, so to speak, of a Pokemon that would otherwise be able to attack like Bulbasaur here, just kind of give it extra HP. But then again, I could still wipe it out with uh, the Razor Leaf. So, hmm, hmm. You know, I should probably put this on the Scyther. 
and go with the vine whip. There we go. And there we go. So he's got the other Bulbasaur flopping out on the field. Yeah, I guess... I don't know why he's... I, think, I don't know, I think I'd go with Kangaskhan, because he otherwise wouldn't be able to get Dark Venusaur if he uses up all this Bulbasaurs, you know? Um... Yeah, I don't even have to use Defender here. And pop that on Venomoth, and Wine Whip for the KO. Yeah, he's kind of in a weird spot, but he's got enough uh, Pokémon in general, so he might be able to recover from this. I think... Well, I don't know why you would Mr. Mime, in all honesty. <laughs> Especially since you got Bill and probably have an energy card. Or... Maybe not. Wow. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, what should I do then? Like, strategy-wise. Like, I could go power up for another critter, like an Ivysaur on the side. Seems like a good idea. I could even take out that Mr. Mime now if I wanted to, which I think I will do. Kind of throw him for a loop there, and it'll also prevent the uh, no resistance thing because it's, I believe that's the only Mr. Mime he carries in all of his decks. He always has one of them in all of his decks, so yeah, I think that will stop that pretty nicely. Oh, he might be going for the Dragonite, or not, uh, but your Bulbasaurs are, you know, you're, you, you're, okay, you got one. <laughs> I was going to say. Your Bulbasaur is kind of, kind of in here. <laughs> One, two. Ah, right. okay. So he does. He has more, more in reserve than I thought. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go for that Ivysaur. And am I what? <laughs> I suppose. Uh, maybe actually, maybe I should be absorbing just to kind of heal up the Ivysaur. I don't know. Uh. Do you have Pokemon Breeder on hand or something? Like why why don't you why wouldn't you use that to get a Dark Ivysaur then? You know? Because he, you can use Dark Dragonair's power to search your deck for a dark evolution card. I I mean well, okay, just evolution card in general. So yeah, why wouldn't you just go for the Ivysaur? I'm <laughs> Alright, so maybe he's like, okay, I give up. <laughs> Alright, let's Leech Seed at least, because I can't knock it out with Vine Whip anyway, so let's just recover a little bit of HP there. And he will draw, and I'll take my last prize card. Sorry, guy, but you just didn't, you didn't play your deck to its fullest, I think. <laughs> Vine Whip for the win, now. And why? Well, he didn't take a single prize card. That's... That's unusual. <laughs> Alright, so... He's got one more deck left. That's your first win. Let's continue on to the next duel. We're free to change your decks. Yes. Uh, we're gonna switch... Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't use the Swift deck. Because his last deck is a Fire deck, and I have Fighting. And he, he's he got Flying Fire Critters. I, yeah, uh... Although I do have my Colorless. That can make it like a back and forth battle, you know, with the Spiro Firo. It, I, I just think the stop it will be way too powerful. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I'm gonna write in my diary, and hopefully I'll be able to get the burn up deck. Let's do it again. And one more time for good luck. And... <laughs> okay, I don't believe in that, actually. <laughs> no. Alright, what do we get here? Beat and destroy. Nope. So that means we've got to go reset that Game Boy and hope that we get that burn up deck. Hi there. Just nope. <laughs> Throw out deck. That's it's a no go. Oh 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 shoot! Oh shoot! Okay. <laughs> oh man! How many how many attempts is this gonna take? Nope. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> How many? He's only got four attacks. One in four chance. It's gotta, it's gotta give it eventually, right? Gotta give it eventually. No! <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, jeez. Come on. No! <laughs> For the love of ours! 
Yes! Come on! What the heck? Finally! We got the burn up deck! <laughs> Alright! My lightning and fighting versus his primarily fire. Let's go! Well. I said, let's go! <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, probably, well, I was gonna say, I probably should leave it to luck the buzz regardless of what I have, but I don't have much of a choice in the matter, do I? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna primarily focus on lightning and colorless because I don't wanna have to deal with the fighting resistances, if at all possible, so... Um... I wanna... I wanna, like... Professor Oak my bill away, but, you know... <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 Pokemon Trader. Oh man, I don't even have Pokemon to trade with that. Well, I'll just go Thundershock and hope for heads. Thank you. <laughs> I just, it's like, I, want, I have so many good cards, and I don't want to discard any of them. They're all good utility cards. I mean, yeah, even, I mean, the Professor Oak is even nice. <laughs> it's like, like the other Professor Oak that I would have to discard. Oh yeah, he's got those Magmars. Those are legendary Magmars for sure. <laughs> Uh, fighting energy. Uh, well, okay. I probably should. Because <laughs> he might be, he might be getting the Charizard somewhere along the line soon enough, you know, of the Dark Charizard variety. So I'm gonna get my side critters bolster their heads, please. Oh. I mean, it doesn't matter if I get heads for the knockout, but it just matters because I'll do 10 damage to myself if I get tails. Well, I'll, I'll count that as a rainbow energy. <laughs> uh, can you get heads? Wow, you can. You are lucky with Bill's teleporter here. Oh, did not like what you drew. Or are you so happy you are shocked? I, I don't know. I'm just, that's not that big of a deal, I don't think. I, mean, I could just end up waking up myself, after all. And that is exactly what I did. If I get, like, plus power with that, I need to just kind of outright knock it out if I get head flip. Um... Well, as I was saying, though, I should focus more on... Although, since he's using colorless, I should probably focus on fighting as well. So yeah, this is that actually will be more of a back-and-forth battle, because I forgot this deck has uh, colorless critters to fight as well. So yeah, it, it, and it's not the colorless critters that are not resistant to uh, fighting like the dragon types, and yeah, so, or flying types, I should say, too, for that matter. And nap time for Electabuzz once again, but will I wake? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get that lucky. <laughs> you always got a plan for the bad luck, just in case. Oh, um, how much was that drill pack again? Four for four? Man, that really is t terribly expensive. <laughs> horribly, horribly expensive. Uh, but I will go for the agility, I suppose. Yep. <laughs> oh, I was actually hoping I, I wouldn't wake up because then maybe it would it change my odds for the future. No, it's always 50% no matter what. <laughs> That's okay. Everything will be fine as long as I've got... Oh, as long as I've got backup Pokémon, I suppose. And... And... Yeah, I guess I'll keep going with that. Done. It's probably gonna switch to something that will, uh... Outright knock out the Electabuzz. Probably, maybe. Like, say, Magmar with the smoke screen, you know, do... I mean, not smoke screen, the smog. Cause poison, instant knockout. And still tails. <laughs> okay, now he's gonna switch to the Magmar. But he does have... Yeah, he's got two energy on the Magmar. Bill, and that's always nice to see. Fighting Machamp. Well, I, I suppose Machamp is a fighting type, but I mean fighting energy and Machamp. You know, it wouldn't hurt to get a Machamp out, because even with resistances... Yeah, I don't know why I went over to attack there. Uh, because of resistances, it'll still do 30 damage, plus it's got that strikes back. So that might still be kind of a useful thing to have, you know? Alright. 
And no wakey wakey again. Man, he's just comatose here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go for that Machamp, hopefully, eventually. And I kind of have no choice here, but just kind of let him knock out the Electabuzz before I could do any sort of dealio, so... You swing those fingers, and bye-bye, my faithful Buzz, bye-bye. And it's probably gonna get something for his bench, but I'm gonna go Firo. Save my Machop, there's another Machop. Um, I could put the Lightning on the Machop for the future, or save it. I don't know. I do know I'm gonna Agility no matter what though, because I can prevent damage on the next turn, which I did. So that is why I played this particular Firo, not that overly expensive Drill Pack. Just, I mean, even if you put double colorless energy on that Drill Pack, you know, two double colorless energy to power up for 40 in two turns, there's so many things that you could do for four energy, four colorless energy for that matter, that's gonna probably do more damage than that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... Hmm... Well, I could surprise them at the Drill Pack plus power. <laughs> like, maybe could. But first, let's do an agility. Hopefully I can get heads out of that. No. Heads would be too generous. Far too generous. And at least I could do 20 damage. I was probably going to go for the sm yeah, Smog. Because I was going to say that the poison, it would be a desirable side effect at this point. Because I'm, I'm kind of in a, in a decent position here. Uh, well, that Mr. Mime actually is gonna, it's gonna stop the resistances, but, yeah, they wanna, <laughs> I guess I will, just because, <laughs> why not, I suppose, just for the kicks, and yeah, it's way too pricey, I, I'm gonna have to use the plus power to make 50, <laughs> um, probably should go, Power up Hitmonchan on the side. I'm gonna do agility just for the sake of damage prevention. And call it a turn. There we go. And, oh man! Okay, he's got a basic. <laughs> I was gonna say if he doesn't trade for something that's a basic, he's got a stock. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep sweeping him. Oh, defender's a good move. Yeah, I won't be able to knock out Mr. Mime unless I have a plus power then. I wonder if I should just go for the agility then. Uh, I don't still have a any sort of macho, kind of a interesting predicament. So I'll put that on there. Yeah, and agility. He won't do any damage to Mr. Mime. My idea is said damage prevention because he's got defender anyway, so it'll take two turns to KO it. And it goes to Dark Char melee. So yeah, he is going for the Dark Char is already indeed. Which could be his turning point. <laughs> oh, he's got another defender, wow. Um, hmm, I wonder if... Oh, yeah, that's right, I don't have the gust of wind here. I was gonna say, I wonder if I should do some damage to that Dark Charmeleon ahead of time. Before it goes all Charizard on me. Uh, well... You know what, if he's gonna keep defending, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Drill Peck. Because I could have actually knocked it out if I would have drill packed. And there it is! But you might switch into that when we got Clefairy as well. Uh, so it looks like we're taking all the prize cards after all. <laughs> There's plus power. Definitely gonna save that. Well, because I won't need it, but I will agility. For the sake of safety, it worked out. As always, if you have the opportunity, even if you're gonna go for a knockout, to prevent damage on the next turn, go for it. And Clef Clefairy. I guess I see the logic, because you could sort of kind of stall a little bit. I get. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go put the Electabuzz on the side, power that up, and Drill Peck. Take out the Clefairy as a surprise, and then he's gonna go for the Dark Charizard. Because I didn't use Agility, right? That's what I thought. So now he's just gonna go try and coin flip me into Oblivion. Uh, if he has two fire energy cards attached to Dark Charizard, he'll probably knock off Firo, but he's just gonna go for it as is, I guess. Okay, it worked out. Yeah, he just needed one head flip. And I figured if he had three energy cards, it'd be almost guaranteed that one of, the, one of them was gonna be heads, because you seem to sometimes we flip two tails. Yeah, 
Um, there's our Electabuzz. All rare to go. Pop that on there. And we're gonna Thunder Punch. Try and get maximum damage onto it. Because otherwise that Dark Charizard could be a sweeping. <laughs> eh, we'll see actually. Uh, if he gets two head flips on the next continuous fireball, that could be doom to me, but eh, eh, we'll see. Mm, 50, 50, there's a 50! Okay. <laughs> I could end up knocking myself out if I try to, if I try to thunder punch again. Which obviously would not work in my favor, but uh, I might not have much of a choice in the matter. Wait a second. Um... It's kind of lacking the right kind of energy. It's kind of weird. I definitely want to go and power up something to attack with. And please give me heads. Ow! Oh! <laughs> okay, fine. You, you, you win this battle. <laughs> well, I should say you win that situation. Okay, so with continuous fireball, I probably want to put something that he can just knock out freely if he wants to, you know? Unless he's just gonna decide to switch. Because I wouldn't mind too much if he knocked out this Machop since it doesn't have anything set up on it. Yep, there it is. And I was hoping you'd actually get two heads off that because then you have to discard all of his energy cards, but no. Alright, so I just need to do 20 damage with something. Heart of the cards, give me an energy card! Oh. <laughs> actually, wait, wait. Um. I could potentially. I could maybe do. Oh no, I can't because I need another fighting. I'm gonna think with the one-two punch. I'm gonna do that at the very least. Uh. Mm. Yep, just gonna have to peck. <laughs> Take it down the 10 HP. He might decide to switch anyway because uh, I'm on my last prize card and that could potentially put him in a pickle. Ooh. If he gets all tails, and he didn't, <laughs> I was going to say, I end up winning. Because I'll be able to peck for the win, and yeah. Um... Where am I fighting energy, anyway? <laughs> uh, so I guess... I should call Hitmonchan. Probably. There it is, I win. <laughs> it's about time I got the fighting, I just like... Kind of mulling over them. Might as well just dump everything out for the fun of it. And special pumps. It's got the uh, fighting resistance. That's all I haven't really. Yeah. Woo! That came closer than I thought it would. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, like I said, that Dark Charizard has a potential to do quite a lot. And that could have been his turning point. No, no, I lost again. No matter, though. I thoroughly enjoyed our battles, Mint. I think that fun was worth giving you another special card. Yeah! <laughs> Two copies now. <laughs> that isn't the reason why I'm rebattling him again, besides, you know, showing the other two decks, which I just did. So yeah, you've seen GR's Mewtwo before. It is now my belief that the purpose of Pokemon cards is to have fun. You're welcome in our castle anytime you wish to have a card battle. I shall also give you permission to enter the Sealed Fortress. Yup! That's why I wanted to battle him a second time. If you beat him twice, and you want to rebat, you know, you want to battle him again to see all his decks anyway, you can unlock that sealed fortress I talked about. There are formidable decks contained within that building's walls. Dun dun dun! <laughs> yep, there's still duels that we haven't seen. They are decks that even I, the GR King, are afraid of confronting. Well, there's actually, there's actually one person who's got a really weirdly bad deck. We'll get into that. <laughs> it's your choice to investigate it or leave such power be, or let's so let such power be. Either way, be careful. Their power is unpredictable and fierce, except maybe one guy. <laughs> All I wish is for everyone to have fun with their Pokemon cards. Woo! And suddenly, credits again. <laughs> <laughs> These are the people that made the game! I just made the walk through to help and entertain people! I don't know if I can actually exit out of this, because I don't know when it auto-saves. <laughs> like, does it auto-save as soon as you hit the credits? Or as soon as you beat Villasini? I don't know, but I definitely want it to auto-save because I unlocked the, the sealed port, so... Yeah, I was like... <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, beat the game again. <laughs> These people. 
<laughs> made the game, not me! This is made them walk through the help! And then I think people that letter S is a different color than it should be, probably. <laughs> Actually, I think it was because it was overlapped on the black side. So it just kind of ended up getting in with that color palette. Maybe it was like an oversight or something like that. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, but graphic design is overlapping in the black area. I don't know! <laughs> it did look like it was a part of the, uh... The other sort of text because it kind of like faded in with the I don't know maybe they just had to do it that way because adding that extra character in with the red had some sort of data overflow and it messed things up or something I, <laughs> I don't know I've never examined the game's code I just know that there's sometimes some some workarounds you have to do with code just to kind of get things to work right <laughs> you know <laughs> So I was like, if there's some sort of weirdly past 255 thing going on there, <laughs> just might have to go for a different thing, I don't know. But yeah, it just, it just seemed like that S was there, definitely on purpose, based on, you know, it, was, it, it spelled out things right, but it was just a different color, dang it. <laughs> and I'm talking differently about the credits this time, because we have to see them twice, I guess you could say. But yeah, the uh, sealed fort. I guess I should talk about that. They, are they. So there's even more decks than double the amount of decks that there were in the first game because of said post-game decks like these coming up here. Uh, so yeah, there's like four per fortress and location and everything like there was in the first game, and then four more GRs place, <laughs> and then. There and I mean, at each of the GR's places, and then there's the extra ones, I'm not going to say how many there are at the sealed fort. Um, there's actually a couple other duelists in other places that we haven't seen yet, too, but I don't, I don't want to spoil that. But yeah, there's, there's still definitely a lot more to come. Just because we beat the game doesn't mean we truly beat the game. Oh, and yes, we still have a lot of cards to collect as well. Uh, a lot of those are like the tradable trades at in, uh, other clubs and stuff like that. You just go and talk to someone, they're like, Oh hey, I'll trade you this for this promo, and you get the promo, and you're like, Yay! Another card for the collection! And our intent, you know, is to get them all, if at all possible. <laughs> I think, I think like this Venusaur here, which is a certain really annoying one to get along with this Lugia, and that Here Comes Team Rocket, and that Mew that I- this Mew right here. Um, oh, there's another game production, the N, that was a little off there. But yeah, the, uh, those ones I'm gonna have to Game Shark in, because they're- they require the infrared link card pop to get. <laughs> I don't know how you would do that in emulators, I just gotta- so I gotta do it some other way, you know? You know? <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we begin the post-post-post game-ish? What, I don't, I, maybe it's just two posts? <laughs> 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 Ta-da!